if you want to be able to start a fire real easy in your wood stove, more than likely you need to clean out your pipes if you're having problems. This pipe right here can get clogged up with creosote, makes it hard for the fire to be able to breathe, makes it hard to get a fire started. I can usually put about two pine cones in here under a piece of wood. See how I've got this piece of wood right here propped up on a smaller piece? Put two little pine cones in there, set them pine cones on fire, and look what I got. Here's the result. Don't take long to get a good fire going. So I'm gonna show you today how you can get your stove pipes cleaned out. And at the end of the video, I will let you know that this is not a kid-friendly video, and I will explain why. Hello, friends and family of YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to clean out your pipe that goes to your wood stove or fireplace. Show you how to clean this piece here out and uh, show you how to get that pipe cleaned out and everything. Show you how I do it. Now I want to go ahead and tell you now there's going to be somebody down in the comments that's been doing this for 20, 30 years. And they're going to tell you how I'm doing it wrong and they're probably right. I've never been professionally trained and I don't plan, plan on ever doing this for a job and I don't try to make you think that I am a professional. I'm just telling you how I've done it for years and how it's worked out for me, so uh, take it for what it's worth. And here's what the view looks like from on top of my house. In case you've ever wondered, I know many of you have watched my channel for a long time. Anyway, let me show you what you're gonna need to get this job done today. Well, we got us a chimney pipe cleaner, and uh, that's what, what we got here. It's a six inch brush. And uh, also I keep a brush up here at all times. That way I know where the thing's at. And uh, this is what I'm gonna clean, uh, clean this top piece out with. So let me show you what we do to get started. A lot of times I have to take this and kind of knock from the underside here to get this loose. Because if you just try to pull it, what it normally would do is it'll try to pull all of this pipe. So what I want to do is just beat on this a little bit, get it loose. And then once I get it loose, I can pull it off. But I can't do it and hold the camera at the same time. So uh, let me go ahead and get that done. But before I beat on it, because that will clean it out, uh, this piece here, I want to show you how clogged up it is to give you an idea of a before and after. So, uh, man, you can see that that thing has not been able to breathe as well as I would like for it to be. So, uh, anyway, again, let me go ahead and beat it off of here and get this, get this thing cleaned up. So, here we go. You can see that this thing's very clogged up, but I'm going to take care of that with this brush. That's what I'm going to do here is just take this brush and scrub it across here, rotate it all the way around. And, of course, I can't do that and hold the camera at the same time. But I uh, just want to kind of show you what uh, what this is for. It doesn't take a whole lot of work with that. And to be honest with you, half time, you can just take this thing and just bounce it around a little bit and a lot of this will fall off. But uh, definitely helps to take your brush like this and drag it across as well. So let me get that done. And now I've got the, uh, Got the top piece off. You can see it down there at my feet. And I've already scratched that off and got it cleaned out a little bit. And wanted to show you what's going on inside of here before I clean it out. I've got just a little bit of hot, uh, hot bed of ashes in there right now, a little bit of coals. But uh, I do not have a fire going. It's best to do this, of course, without a fire. This is my only source of heat for the winter time. So, uh, I'm having to time this at the uh, latest part of the day before it starts to get cool again. So uh, I wanna get this done as quick as I can so I can get me a fire going back in here again before, uh, before it starts dropping down in temperature. So what I gotta do is take this brush and I've got my extension poles on it. And I take this and I just slide this down inside of here. And you see it does not want to fit too well to start with because the walls are very corroded up with the uh, with a soot. So I've got to take this and push it down as far as I can. And 
course it gets so uh, so eat up in there it's hard for uh, hard for the camera to be able to see too far but I'm gonna drag this brush back up and down probably about eight to ten times up and down inside this pipe so I'll go down as far as I can and then I'll pull it right back up through here keep doing that over and over until it uh, goes through with no problem of friction and uh, you know no uh, no more of this soot holding me back so anyway let me go ahead and get that done all right so I uh, got the got it in and out of here about six times going up and down now i have heard people say that they like to try to rotate it as they go up and down through here and that's not a bad idea but if you do that make sure you'd go clockwise the reason why is that brush is threaded on that pole if you went counterclockwise that brush could unthread and it could get stuck in your pipe and you'd never get it out. But you can see how much cleaner I got it. This whole process ain't gonna take me five minutes from up here to get this done. While you're here, it'd be a good time to check, see if you got any leaks around the pipes as well. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get some of these leaves off, put this cap back on, and I'm ready to go downstairs and do a little work inside. So we're not done yet. I want to give you some good safety advice as far as getting up and down a ladder, especially from the roof going down. If you notice what I've done is I've got the ladder position to where that rung meets up with the roof point. That way when I try to go down and I step my foot right there, not only do I have my foot on a rung, but I have it on the flat of the roof to keep that ladder from wanting to move out from under me. I also keep the ladder raised up real high. You notice it's raised up about four foot above the roof line. That is so that I can put my hand right here as I step around and put my foot right there. I have a good hold with my hand and I have my feet safely positioned on the roof. So keep that in mind. And again, I'm no expert, this works for me. Hey, if you fall and die, please don't let your uh, your family member sue me. It works for me. Hopefully, it'll work for you. Well, as I mentioned earlier, there might be a hot coal or two in here. I'd really have to dig around to find it. Didn't want anybody to think I was doing this with a fire going. But uh, anyway, I've got, uh, got all the work done outside. So now what I've got to do is lift this pipe out of here. The best way I have found to do it is this damper switch here. You can take your hand and put one hand under each side of the damper and uh, lift up and it will come loose from the stove. You can see all the pieces that has fallen out and it's even filled up. My, uh, my wood stove has a catalytic converter so this does not go all the way through the firebox. So what I'm gonna do now is take this uh, shop vac here and vacuum this out. So when I was up on top of the roof with the, uh, the brush, I was able to get it to come down to here. The reason it could not go any further is because there's a damper inside of here. So that damper would not allow me to go any further down. So the way that I clean from here down is I take a piece of wood about the size of a drumstick and I take this and I will beat all the way around on this pipe. And what that does is it will knock these chunks off of here and it will fall out in big chunks as opposed to little bitty flakes like it did when I used the brush. So that's how I get it clean from, from here all the way down. And I just go around here for about two or three minutes and after a while you'll quit hearing it fall and that way you know that you've got all of it removed. 
And now what I've got to do is lift this back up and set it back down into here. I'm not going to lift it up very high at all. The reason you do not want to lift this pipe very high is because up inside of here, it is seated down into, uh, into itself up there. So what you do not want to do is you do not want to loosen that pipe from up above. So you just barely lift that up just enough to set it up here as I did and lift it up just enough to scoot it over and set it right back down in there. So we're ready to put it in now. And now that I've uh, got it seated back down into the top of the stove, I just wanna check, make sure at all of these joints where these pipes match back up, that everything seems correct. And mine, I did put some pipe clamps on there. I did not show you that earlier because it's not something that everybody does. But I do that and keep mine uh, to where I know that they're snugly safe on there and don't have to worry about it. I do this about three times a winter season. So I've been doing this about seven, maybe eight years now and never had any problems with it. So it's worked out for me. But uh, as I said earlier, there's probably some experts that's going to tell you I'm doing it wrong and they are probably correct. But this has worked for me. And hopefully y'all can see the smoke coming out. I've got it all cleaned out, got it all put back together, got me a little fire going in there. And as I warned earlier, I said this video is not made for kids. It's not kid friendly. And now I'm gonna tell you why. The Tooth Fairy is not real. The Tooth Fairy does not exist. Yep, as I told you, it's not a kid friendly video. Check out that smoke coming out of there. And we're ready to go. Thanks for watching, folks. Y'all like and subscribe if you hadn't done so already. See y'all. Bye-bye.